Biden is an uninspiring candidate. Charlemagne the God says, no main character energy at all. And I'm gonna play the video of this in, in a minute. Um, but um, not saying that that Charlemagne the God, the so-called God, I hate calling him that, but Charlemagne the God um, is, 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 he's not jumping ship. He's not leaving the Democratic plantation. He's still, he's still caping for the Democrats. He says something about, um, he's still giving a mantra saying that, that uh, Trump will destroy democracy or whatever. But what do you, it, it, make, it makes no sense to me because look at what everything that Biden has done and tell me he has not destroyed democracy. Look what he's doing uh, to our country, killing capitalism. It's terrible with his Marxist, um, Marxist policies, destroying this country. And yet he and, and then you look at you look at what um, Trump did when he was in office and how the economy was booming and everything, but yet he's the man that's going to destroy democracy. These people are brainwashed. These people are these people. These leftists are in a cult, and they refuse to see it. But at least I'll give him some credit. At least he's seeing that Biden is a disaster. I give him a little credit on that. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. But um, before we get started, go to hit the like. Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jjdepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news here. Again, Charlemagne may be calling out Biden a little bit here, but he's not jumping ship or anything like that. He He's still a Democrat cultist loyalist, um, but... I, I give credit when credit due. Even a broken clock is right twice a day, you know. So um, let me play this video here. Then I'll come in on the back end and talk a little bit about it. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and enlarge this. Sorry, y'all. I don't I do not do any editing or anything like that anymore. I try to do it this way because it saves me a lot of time. You know, I, um, I am a full-time uh, uh, therapist. All right, so here we go. If it'll play. He's, a, he's just he's an uninspiring on, candidate. Right. Like, you know, there's nothing about you know, right, Joe Biden that anything. makes you want to listen to him. That's why he should be leaning on, you know, his vice president, Kamala Harris, who's way more charismatic than him. He should be le leaning on, you know, others. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to rewind this a little bit. Again, I apologize, y'all. Um, <laughs> uh, Broke man tech here, broke man tech. All right, here we go. He's, a, he's just an uninspiring candidate. Like, you know, there's nothing about, you know, Joe. I'm sorry, y'all, this is terrible. The whole thing is refreshing. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, Um. so why this is, what happened? I have no idea what happened. It totally switched. Let's try this one more time. Again, I apologize, y'all. This poor, poor man tech, poor man tech. I should have just downloaded this video. Um, it would probably play a lot better than what's what's going on now. But again, I'm um, wait for this to load, and we can try this one more time. While it's loading, let's go ahead and, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over this article. Then I'll play. I'll come in again. Hopefully by then it'll be loaded. And I can play the video. But uh, Charlemagne the God said Sunday that President Biden is an, quote, uninspiring candidate and argued that there was nothing about the president that makes people, quote, want to listen to him. ABC host Jonathan Carl asked Charlemagne about why Biden's messages on Trump begin of uh, being a threat to democracy was not resonating. Quote, he's just an uninspiring candidate. Like, you know, there's nothing about Joe Biden that makes you want to listen to him, he said. He should be leaning on people who are more inspiring than him. Who are more uh, charismatic than him and he should just be i guess if you want to call it the brains of the operation behind the scene he's no way he believes this <laughs> biden the brains uh like that sounds crazy that we're saying that about a president of the united states of america but he has no main character energy at all charlemagne suggests biden lean more on vice president harris and other more hold on charismatic democrats like governor like governor newsom and uh, Shapiro, Josh Shapiro, but uh, <laughs> Harris is far from 
charismatic. She is a disaster. She has word salads, word jumbles, and things of that nature. So let's let me try to play this again. Here we go. Well, he's a, he's just an uninspiring candidate. Like you know, there's nothing about you know Joe Biden that makes you want to listen to him. That's why he should be leaning on, you know, his vice president, Kamala Harris, who's way more charismatic than him. He should be le leaning on, you know, other Wilson surrogates Biden. like, you know, G Gavin Newsom or, you know, Sh Sh Shapiro in, 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 P in Pennsylvania. Like, he should be leaning on people who have are more inspiring than him, who are more charismatic than him. And he should just be, I guess, if you want to call it th the brains of the operation behind the scenes like that sounds crazy that we're saying that about a president of the united states of america but he he has no main character energy at all none and what is that is that age is it the way he is i mean why, why do you what, what, what's the problem i don't think it has anything to do with with, with with age you know i think it has just everything to do with with him like donald trump is what four years three years younger than president biden but he just comes off a lot more youthful he comes off you know like he has a lot more energy in true true and again it, it's it's um i i do agree with that like he has no energy trump does seem to have more a lot more energy um um than than uh biden so um the article goes on to say he said that the reason is nothing to do with age and everything to do with biden himself um, the radio host emphasized that trump was absolutely a threat to democracy and said even though democrats have been saying it for years this time it's true <laughs> well, yeah sure okay but carl asked him about whether harris who has been critical of has met his expect who he has been critical of and met his expectations he said quote no she hasn't but i don't think it's too late for her to pivot it's too late for her she's a disaster we all know she's a diversity hire just like john pierre uh john pierre in white house She's, I mean, they hired, they get these diversity hires that really don't need to be there. They're really terrible at their jobs. They're not good. Why won't you put the person in place <laughs> that can actually do the work? You know, they, they is incompetence everywhere. Every single person you see in his administration is a diversity hire and they're doing terrible jobs. Look at Buttigieg, look at the transportation department with all these derailments and things like that. I mean, every single person um, is a disaster and is the diversity hire. But he goes on to say, you know, I think that's right now, historically, vice presidents have always kind of played their role. Their role is to just basically parrot the president, you know, speak on behalf of the president. He said she serves a unique purpose, right? Because she is the first woman of color in that position. So there's things that she could talk about, things that she could say that he can't. Charlemagne previously said he felt burned over his 2020 endorsement of Harris and Biden, said, quote, I've learned my lesson for, um, from doing that, he told Politico in January. Once they got in the White House, she kind of disappeared. Charlemagne, however, has also argued that while he believes Biden is a, as, per, a, as president, um, as elected officially, I should say, Trump is, quote, the end of democracy as we know it. Again, that's the same Democrat talking point that you hear from all leftists. Trump is a uh, <laughs> is going to destroy democracy and all this other thing. So my question, if he was going to destroy democracy, why didn't he do it in his first term? Why did he still continue with these talking points? And is not democracy being destroyed now? Are you free to say whatever you want online without government butting their head in and trying to get you censored? Are, are, you, are you free to not get um, um, medical procedures that you don't believe in and not lose your job? You know, people were losing their jobs behind these medical procedures that we didn't want in the first place. Uh, I mean, there's so many things I could point out that that um, the leftist Democrats and and, and um, bomb up about to say Obama, <laughs> but but that's probably not far from the truth. But um, uh, Biden uh, taking away all your freedoms here, and and I mean, they want to get rid of your your you can't even. You can't even cook on a stove anymore. On a, on a, they want to get rid of gas stoves. They want to get rid of wood stoves and all these other things. And yet they say that uh, President Trump is the threat to democracy. Look at everything that they're regulating. Look at everything that the leftists are trying to take from you. And tell me who the one that's really trying to uh, destroy democracy. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Sorry about all the mess up with the video. But um, y'all know how it is. Until next time, peace.